What's good, e-bikers? This is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. Probably the most comfortable e-bikes, or one of the most comfortable e-bikes I've ever ridden. Tell you all about it next. All right, here it is, the Cafe Cruiser, on sale right now for $12.95 at rideoneup.com. Check my link in the description and uh, click that affiliate link to help out the channel. It comes in uh, gray, indigo, and this color here, which I think is called Latte. It's a very nice color combination with the black and the uh, Latte or tan, I guess you can call it. Um, top speed of this e-bike is 28 miles an hour. We have a 750 watt motor back here. That has 60 newton meters of torque. It's kind of a skinnier, uh, kind of rounder, skinnier tire uh, motor on the uh, Cafe Cruiser. We've got an integrated rack back here. It's good for, I'm not sure what the weight is, but I'm sure it's pretty, at least 50 pounds. Uh, I'll have to check the specs on that. We have um, a range of 30 to 50 miles. Haven't tried that out yet. Uh, 26 by 3 inch tires. These are really nice tires. These are Chow Yangs. They got a nice uh, diamond tread on there. Very uh, comfortable. I think they're great for street riding. Uh, has a cadence sensor as well. So it's a cadence sensor e-bike. Uh, we've got a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery here in the down tube. And that has Samsung cells, 21700 cells. So it's on the uh, you know higher end side as far as the battery goes. There is a, there's the charge port right there. And there's a key unlock on the other side. So you can pop that out whenever you want to. Charge it on the bike or off the bike. As you can with most e-bikes. The uh, front fork has 80 millimeters of travel. Really good uh, fork there. It's got some lockout on the bike and adjustments as you can see there. And there's preload of course as well. Uh, no rear suspension so it's a hardtail e-bike. 46 tooth chain ring. And that's married to a 11 by 32 tooth cassette there in the back it's uh, eight speeds got a shimano acera derailleur there and it's an eight speed uh paddle shifter here's a look at the brakes 180 millimeter rotors with zoom hydraulic disc brakes you can see it right there on the lever so here's a quick walk around of the e-bike And the reason I say it's the most comfortable are because of these handlebars. So we're looking at a 40 degree sweep on these handlebars. Um, you know, when you're sitting on it, it's just that they basically surround you. They're like right at your side almost. And uh, it's a very upright riding experience. Probably the one of the most upright, comfortable rods I've ever had on an e-bike. Uh, maybe next to that um, uh, Soul e-bikes I rode out in uh, Arizona uh, earlier this year. Uh, they had that dual suspension on it, but uh, just just from a pure, you know, just getting at it and riding and not worrying about any kind of ergonomics, this thing is really nice. I mean, it's it's really uh, wrap around type handlebars. You've got the uh, nice full leather grips. You got a thumb throttle here, which I like. Your basic display from ride one up. Plenty of room for accessories. Nice cable management up there. And here's your paddle shifter, eight speed paddle shifter right here round out the bike so it's just a very very uh, ergonomically good fit e-bike uh, I think for pretty much most riders out there and that frame is just it's kind of a it's a unique frame I've never seen this frame in the market before so it's not a cookie cutter e-bike uh, for sure and I think it's something that's gonna open, catch a lot of eyes and uh, get you a lot of compliments if you're riding it on the trails here's a quick look at the uh, display of course, you get your plus and minus for the uh, PS levels. Uh, it shows wattage power here, battery bars. That's about it. You have uh, odometer, trip, time, and max speed, and average. Pretty basic.
All right, guys, we're on this uh, Cafe Cruiser. I'm gonna ride one up. One of my uh, favorite companies. I, I like their B-bikes. They make some nice E-bikes. I've always been, uh, I've always liked the ones I've gotten. I got that. Uh, I forget the first one I got. Can't remember the name of the brand, the uh, model. But I got the LMT, which is really nice. So they make more road style e-bikes. They've got that Rev One uh, e moped style. It's fairly new. So, uh, but yeah, they definitely appeal to more of the road e-biker, um, you know, road style e-bikes. There's now out there folding one too called the Portola. Uh, I have not received that yet, perhaps in the future. But this thing is uh, pretty nice. Let's go do the uh, speed test and see how she does. All right, so let's do our speed test on the PS1. We'll do the uh, speed just the testing here. Again, eight speeds. Uh, you can see how swept back these handlebars are. Put pan down a bit there, and uh, yeah. So we're doing 11 miles an hour. PS2. That's in one. Bumping it up to uh, it's like 13, 14 almost. There's 14. PS3. 15, 16 miles an hour, PS4, we're at uh, 20, 21, and PS5, let's do a turnaround and do PS5. Okay, here we go. PS5, not one four there. Should hit 28. I have tested it once already. I'm in the eight, I'm in top gear and speed. There's 23, 24. Got a bit of a wind in front of me. That's holding me back, definitely. Yeah. It's pretty windy today. I'm going to try a different area and see how we do. Right. Maybe we'll get a little more of a head start first. And then hit that flat area. Around here, oh, all these cars. We're in PS5. Gaming speed here. Okay, here we go. Top speed run. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28.6. 29. Wow, 29.3. Very nice. Pedal hard, wasn't like crazy hard. So, uh, one of the faster e-bikes I have ridden. It's nice they can get to 29 with pedaling. I mean, that's uh, pretty fast for what's really a casual e-bike. One of my subscribers wanted to know what it's like to ride these bikes with no power. I'll do that for you now. Put it in zero. I mean, you're going to drop the gear down a bit so it's easier to pedal. You know, you're going to cruise around 7, 8 miles an hour. I'm going downhill here, but we're doing 11. So, you know, yeah, you can ride e-bikes with no power. On a flat stretch, it's fine. Now you'll be getting, a, uh, just like riding a regular bike. But when it comes to any kind of incline or uphill, forget it. You need power assist on these e-bikes. So now we're doing 12 miles an hour now. Again, this is going downhill slightly, so there you go. All right, let's go do a hill test and uh, see how she does. By the way, this is uh, 20 miles an hour for the throttle. So that's top speed on the uh, 
Cafe Cruiser with throttle only. Okay, here's my hill test. The throttle only to start. And see how this uh, 750 watt does. Six point eight losing speed here. Yeah. I wouldn't call this a great hill climber so far. Normally, my seven fifty watts will start picking up speed. Okay, we're picking up speed now. Of course, there's always a lawnmower in the way. So, pardon the intrusion. Right, doing nine miles an hour almost. Eight point eight. There's nine. This thing's chugging along at its own pace. Up to 11. 11.6. Not going much faster. I'm going to stop pedaling. Drop it down to fifth gear. Put it into PS5. Okay, so we get steep. 10, 10 miles an hour starting to work 9 9.1 8.6 8.0 7.9 7.8 and it looks like that's the lowest 7.8 miles an hour min speed uphill with pedaling so there you go a pretty average um, not much torque in the z-bike so 60 newton meters all right let's go do our downhill run and coast and test out the brakes all right time for the downhill coast see how this e-bike is at high speed basically turning off the motor and we're just going to coast and two hands on the brakes of course chilly out here hmm. all right we're doing 24 miles an hour pretty steady up here I feel up high the upright seating position we hit 30 there for a second back down to 28 and here we go 31, Ugh. hit those brakes, nice control stop there, yeah we only hit 31 coming down the hill so uh, on the slower side of uh, many of the bikes I've tested down there so all right let's go wrap this up and uh, give my final thoughts, stay tuned. All right there's your ride one up guys, Cafe Cruiser. Uh, not a lot to complain about on this e-bike. I mean, I really have no... There's nothing that's wrong with this bike. It's a great e-bike. And for $12.95, with hydraulic brakes, a 15 amp hour battery, it goes 20 miles an hour. This is a great value. The ergonomics of it. If you really want a comfortable, easy to ride e-bike, get this e-bike. Right? Um, it's unique uh, in terms of the frame style. It's not a cookie cutter e-bike for sure. Uh, you rarely get e-bikes with these kind of wide handlebars um, and again if you put these on any e-bike you know this with a wide sweep like this you're just gonna feel like it's a totally different e-bike uh, when it comes to that uh, riding style so yeah I mean nothing to complain about on this e-bike I mean the display is pretty you know it's kind of lame but uh, it's on all the right one e-bikes is, is that LCD display it's the most basic thing about this bike um, I guess a couple of bars for the battery, uh, but I love everything else about this bike. Um, it's just a great value. And again, the company is a good company, so I recommend them. They're probably in my top 10 in terms of e-bike companies out there. So check out Ride One Up, uh, Cafe Cruiser. I'll put a link to the description there on the uh, video link there. I'm an uh, affiliate of these guys, so if you pick one up, you help, help out the channel there. 
And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions, comments about this Cafe Cruiser, drop them there in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time on Criss Crossed. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.